How's it going everybody? We're going to go ahead today and walk through how we can create a custom opt-in page within the Investment Dominator. Now to go ahead and help us uh, obtain this goal, we're going to first go ahead and review our user guide and then we'll go ahead and jump in for a live demonstration. For the user guide article, we're going to be looking up how to go ahead and create a custom opt-in page. You could just find this article by typing in the keyword custom opt-in page and you'll see this one here. Now you'll just want to go ahead and review and get familiar with uh, all of the subject matter here that we're going to be talking about as far as being able to go to customize and go to custom pages. This will be a great reference as we go along with this video. All right, now that we're back into the Investment Dominator, let's go ahead and take a look further. Again, we're going to go to Customize, Websites, Pages, and Post. And once we're there, we'll go ahead and see that we can go ahead and add a page. Now, just following along with this uh, user guide article as well, we're going to go ahead and create a selling website and we're not going to have a custom theme for this website so we'll leave that as none and for page type we'll have as single page for page status we'll have public because we want to be able to make sure that we can view this page after we have uh, created it now for page title let's go ahead and say uh, we're going to call this IT support custom opt-in page now, of course, you can name this anything that you would want, but uh, just for this demonstration, we'll go ahead and say that. And uh, if you feel like you want to go ahead and write a page description, you can also do that as well. Just keep in mind that your page title will go ahead and also create your page URL. So you want to go ahead and make sure it's uh, in that appropriate format. And now we can go ahead to our page content to create this opt-in form. So there's a couple of things that we want to take note of. First, when you're creating this page, just keep in mind that you can really create any type of text or any type of headings that you want to go ahead and have on this page. But specifically, the one option that we're going to be focusing on is uh, inserting a merge field. This is going to go ahead and create us a custom opt-in form. Now to do this, click onto the field where you see insert merge field, click here and you'll see the merge field for opt-in form. Now this will be the regular opt-in form without any changes added to it but just keep in mind since we're in the world of just creating a custom opt-in form there's a lot more that we can add to this. Now there's just one more item that we need to go ahead and grab and that would include an opt-in form with some variable inputs and we'll go ahead and show you uh, exactly what this looks like now. Okay, so let's go ahead and break down these three different opt-in forms. So for example, uh, we have the regular opt-in form here, as you might have seen already, which would include the uh, first name as well as the email address. And then uh, we have another opt-in form here where you could change the button of the text. So for example, uh, normally it'll say go ahead and view uh, the properties that you have listed on your selling site, but you can also change the text to be click here for more info. And last but not least, we have this opt-in form uh, with specific input fields. So for example, if you wanted to capture more information than uh, just what was uh, given by default, for example, you can add a phone number or a zip code to, that, uh, exi to this existing opt-in form, and you can go ahead and do that. Now also if you want to go ahead and do some page tracking, so if you are using uh, Google Analytics or Facebook um, Analytics as well, you can go ahead and place that page tracking code there. But really uh, once you're done, you can go ahead and click on to save. Alright, now that we have our new page created, let's go ahead and add this to the Investment Dominator. We can go to Website Settings Selling. When we click on this, we can scroll down and we want to go ahead and see right where it says opt-in page, we're going to choose our newly created opt-in page. And make sure you set it to public so that it'll show up. So I'll click it here and always remember just to update your site. 
And now let's show you some of the differences with the opt-in forms that we've created. So for example, the first opt-in form is the one by default. You go ahead and see here again, first name as well as email address and then view available deals now. Now when we go into this opt-in form, this is the one where we change the text. So you'll go ahead and see that the text for the button now says click here for more information. Last but not least, this will be our opt-in form that captures more than just those two default fields. So you'll go ahead and see there's a spot for your last name, your phone number, as well as your zip code. Now if we take a look at our website pages and posts, we'll go ahead and see that if we edit this, we can see just exactly how we made these changes. So for example, opt-in form is the default field. If you want to go ahead and add different text, you can just add this button text and what it's equal to. Again, this was found on the user guide. As well as the input fields, you can use any merge fields that you see on that document already listed, and the ones here are the ones which we saw before. But all right, I hope this tutorial helped you in creating this custom opt-in form, and uh, we'll go ahead and see you on the next one.